It was definitely the ride of my life. When the day began, it was really early in the morning. We woke up at dark and we were watching it and it was super windy and the water was really dark blue, I remember, and the waves were just pretty gnarly. It wasn't quite as big as it was gonna get, but it was really big. pretty crowded, so the first initial thing I did was I went and paddled my skim just to get out there and get warmed up. And I tried to, I tried to go for one, but I ended up eating shit on it and went in, had some breakfast, thought about it, thought about what was gonna go down that day, maybe how to get a surfboard or what was gonna happen next because the swell was here and it was time to do it. But to take the jet ski out. It just kind of wasn't the time. There was a lot of people out, so it was all kind of like strategic timing. It was just getting so big throughout the day and the wind was getting lighter. It was doing all these magical things that you only get to see once in a while if you ever go visit Mexico. Next thing you know, I'm just about to tow the best waves of my life on my skimboard. Langer and I, we, we both went out there and our first wave, he towed me in, it was a bomb. And I went left and it ended up being a closeout and it was like the craziest wave of my life. I was gonna go left and the thing ended up starting to kind of bend into me as if it was gonna go be a right. So I kind of decided to straighten out and as the lip was behind me, it chucked like out in front of the wave into the flats. I had to, I had to plane away from it with my board in hopes to not get crushed by the lip. And I got away from it, but the whitewash eventually got me and just gobbled me up underwater. And next thing you know, I was stuck in a rip for almost maybe 30 and 40 minutes. It took me to get back to the beach because I was just stuck in one rip and the sets behind it just wouldn't let me go anywhere. And I was swimming and it was pretty chaotic. Eventually I got a toe off the sand and somehow body surfed one in. And coughed up a little bit of water and was a little rattled, probably the most rattled swim of my life and a beach break. And next thing you know, we just got right back out there to search for another one and ended up finding the one. And when I let go of the rope, I remember he was swinging me around and the face and the, the length of the wave and just everything out in front of it. There was no whitewash. Everything just looked like everything you'd ever want. And when I let go, I was just holding one rail all the way down the wave. And I just remember just doing a fat bottom turn. And next thing you know, I just see the, the, the whole wave starting to wall up. So I tried to throw a, a stall up in it and I ended up getting right under the hood. And I was just all on one, one rail with my toes on my back foot, just holding, hoping not to fall because I knew this wave was just so incredible. And, all the feelings and emotions, I just knew it was time to like really pull this one off. And I had no fin, so the control factor was for sure the most strength I've ever used in my body to hold a line. And the wave started spitting. And I had my eyes wide open and I couldn't see a thing. Felt like there was actually sand in the spit nailing my back. And I was just holding a line. It was almost all feeling at one point because I couldn't see anything. And I remember I finally like made it out. Next thing you know, I'm kicking out the back of the wave, like doing some funny little Superman jump or something. I just remembered being so happy and, and I knew I hadn't ever got a wave like that in my life and everything just felt good. And I felt like that was the wave of my life. So I just called it after that when I went in. And I was just so excited to see Dylan Palmer and see the video clip for the rest of the day. We just were all smiles and 
just enjoying the rest of the day and the sunset. The board that I used for the swell was the same board I used to skimboard in Florida, behind a boat, down at the beach on some little waves, California. It's the same board I used for basically everything. There was no modification for big waves. That ride on that day, it's been quite, quite a bit of missions to get there and try different swells and getting skunked and scoring and just figuring out how to use my skimboard in the first place on a big wave through the years. And finally just getting to a moment where the swell was just right. I got towed in at the right window, the wind was right, the waves were right. And when I caught that wave, it all kind of just felt like it amounted to that wave. Holy fuck! Yeah, boy! After that wave was solidified and I rode it out, I just felt like something deep down in my soul was accomplished, but yet, you know, just the beginning at the same time. So it was definitely the ride of my life.